I was going. I was going to start a course of hit the road frack. Okay. But, uh, let's do that then. <laughs> what, what they're doing to a community, that, you know, right now is pretty much pristine. We got a nice area. <laughs> they're going to come in here, and if you go on the internet, and I know that you can't believe everything you see, but there's lots of crap on that internet, and it's not all crap. And you can see what's going on and what is done in other places and the things that people have gone through. And for them to think that they can come in New Brunswick, that we're just a little backwards. This is the way that guy from Texas was talking. Him and I didn't have a very nice conversation. It was a little one-sided. He wasn't too happy with me and I'm not really happy with him. But they could think, why did Quebec say, okay, no more of this crap. You've done enough. We're not letting you do anymore. I mean, they even mined asbestos up there and they stopped this. You know, so there's, it's definitely bad. Nova Scotia put a moratorium against it. Like I ask him, does he think that the people of New Brunswick are, are smarter than them because we're going to take advantage of what SWN has to offer and, and the other provinces are dummies because they won't take advantage? You know, this isn't right. They're here. Why, can we, why should we be stuck in the middle of all of this when everybody around us is saying no? It needs to be banned forever. It needs to be banned. Forever. Asbestos is something that they banned. It took them a long time to figure it out. Why should we be the ones to figure out what's the matter with the shale gas? It's happening all over the world. Go on the internet. Look at New South Wales and Australia, the troubles no, that they've had. Look at Pennsylvania. Just go on, on the see. internet. And I know you don't believe everything you see. And I'm not one to jump and say that my tap water is going to turn to gas as soon as they do this. I'm not really that worried about that. My worry is what are they going to do with all that crap, the chemical they're pumping in the ground? A small amount of chemical. What's 0.1% uh, of a million? 4.5 million gallons of water for huh? one well. <clears throat> Put you in a difficult position, away. I, do, I, I wouldn't we want, want you. Our communities you think this is going to snowball like an NB power thing? Do we want uh, the government I to can't, be involved in I can't speak to what's going to happen around the province. No! As you can see by the group of people here today, and, and, and there have been half a dozen other meetings uh, in the Nashwalk River Valley that have been as well, if not even better attended than this one. Uh, like I said, I can't speak to what it's going to what's going I to happen you for, the province. I've known you for about eight years, and I can uh, tell this is bothering you. Uh, well, you're... you're uh, no, I mean, seriously. You're a very intuitive person. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I can tell this is, uh, you're not comfortable with this at all. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm representing the people of this region and, and they're not comfortable with it. So it'll be interesting with this party line, party line thing. That's going to be very interesting. Oh, that's right, you're Scottish too, eh? Mm -hmm. mm, and us Scotsmen, we're very, very stubborn. Is that right? We are very stubborn. Are you a Scot as well? I'm half Scotch, yes. Me mother from Glasgow, Scotland. Is that right? I told you that years ago. I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, remember I was going to give you a white glove and slap you across the face oh. because you insulted my culture. Remember, we're not going to go into detail here, but you remember. Well, I don't feel that I insulted <laughs> anyone. No, of course not. It would be the, pr the press and everything, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not here to talk about that. But you, you are concerned. That's good. That's good. We'll leave it at that.